So for this question, we're asked to determine the internal bending moment for the beam at point C. And note again for the answers, the directions are consistent with the sign conventions. So what I've done is drawn in the free body diagram, including the support reactions. This was done in the previous question. So please go back and review that if you're curious about where these values came from. So now what we're interested though is the internal bending moment at C. So point C is this one here where the um, uniformly distributed load ends. So we have kind of two options for figuring out what the moment is internally at this point. One option is you can just take a cut through the beam there and apply your equilibrium equations to figure out what the internal moment is. The second option that you have is to draw the bending moment diagram and from that diagram you can probably then read off exactly what the value is as well. So either option should work but I'm going to go with the first option because I think that's probably a little bit easier. So what we need to do is take a cut through the beam at our point of interest. So that's at point C. So we're going to cut and we have to redraw either the left or the right hand side of the beam. So I'm going to draw the left hand side, um, but it doesn't, sorry, I'm going to draw the right hand side, I should say, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the reason I'm picking the right hand side is because it too has, just has the two point loads. Um, if we pick the left hand side, we're going to have to simplify the um, distributed load, which is a little bit more effort, but it will work out. Um, it's just up to you which approach you take. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram of the right hand side. So carrying across the forces that we have before, we've got the reaction and the applied three kilonewtons. And now at the cut, we need to replace it with the internal loads. So I'm gonna take a guess at the directions. So I'm gonna guess that the shear load is going downwards internally at this point. And I'm gonna guess that the moment is going this way at that point. All right, so all we're really interested in is the moment. So I'm going to sum moments at the cut point to be equal to zero. So that's about this point here um, in order to determine M, which is my internal moment. And I'll just quickly transfer across. We know these distances. So it's one meter and one meter in between them. So we've got the applied moment, which I've drawn in the clockwise direction. So it's going to be negative M. We've then got three kilonewtons acting at a distance of one meter. This is also going clockwise, so it's negative. And we've got the 3.75 acting at a distance of two meters. And this is going to push anti-clockwise, so it's positive. So we go through and solve for M. So this is actually going to come out to negative 4.5 um, and the units I measured my forces here in kilonewtons and all my distances here were in meters, so it's kilonewton meters. So then it's come out as a negative, that means that I got the direction incorrect. So actually this is going the opposite direction, which is anti-clockwise. So I've got 4.5 kilonewton meters anti-clockwise. And that's it. the sign convention, is that anti-clockwise is positive. So that's what I should answer for um, the multiple choice part. So looking down here, we can see that that is indeed one of the answers. So I would say that one um, for the answer to the question.